Well, good evening, everyone. Good afternoon, and welcome along to the Red Bull Esports German final on WRC7. We have had six local gamers down here competing to get four places into the final. My name is Ben Constanturis. We've got Bex Williams, as usual, in the commentary position. She's going to be joined by experts in esports, Rene Butler, uh, or Butler if you're English. Uh, Rene, what can we expect from tonight? I mean, I saw them practicing, doing the group stage and all that. These guys qualified on the um, offline events, three in total in Germany. So they're really competitive. They're way quicker than I expected, I have to say that. So I'm pretty sure we see great action. Yeah, so just explain what that means in terms of offline events. They actually had to go to an event and perform against the clock, right? Yeah, everyone was able to just sign up and race. And these guys beat everyone on that event. So they are quick from that region on that one event. But obviously tomorrow in the world final will be a completely different story. Now we'll meet the four finalists in just a few seconds, but these guys are pro gamers in themselves. Oh yeah, are, some of them are signed with big esports organizations. Some of them are real racers. So there's a good mixture, it will be quite interesting. So Rene is not only the commentator, the expert, he's also the producer and the game's master. So you've got to go and set up your commentary position and your game, Rene, and we will meet the four contenders. As we said, we've had semi-finals already. They're going to be racing on three different stages around the world on WRC7 in hardcore mode with full damage. And so let's get down and meet the three, the four contenders. First, a guy I know pretty well, Nikodem Wisniewski, fastest Nikodem in uh, in our semi-finals so far. Uh, you have experience on multiple different platforms. So, how are you feeling on WRC7? It's completely new experience for me because I'm, I'm doing mostly the racing, uh, racing games, racing platforms. So, it's it's like an good opportunity to to just get a uh, new experience and yeah, I hope to, to have some fun today. Uh, let's go down to our second fastest uh, in practice, Jakob Gruber from a from a WRC family. Uh, you've got rallying in your veins. Yeah, I have. I was the second fastest and uh, fortunately I know I know the stages and uh, I hope that might help me go through for tomorrow. Yeah, so the semi-finals, we had five seconds separating those two and five seconds separating second to third. Alexander Dornadain, WTCC eSports champion, but you've only been a couple of days on this one. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of new to the game. You know, it's kind of difficult to learn all the stages. In the qualification rounds, I kind of know them, but now it's going to be tough because I've never driven this before. But yeah, let's see, just be calm, calm and clean. So, Alex was looking mighty impressive. Again, just 10 seconds off Nikodayem, he's got lots of experience. And then finally, we have uh, Dennis Schweitzer. Dennis, excited to be in the WRC paddock? Oh, yes, of course. I'm very excited, but I'm happy to be here and uh, I will give my best. So, just uh, having a look to see if the game has been set up yet. We're still waiting to get the, uh, the lobby created. Um, that's then these four drivers can then join into that lobby. It's an online game, and actually, Rene is doing all the button pressing and uh, directing it. And uh, we will get going in just a few moments' time. Very impressive rig. Play seat, Thrustmaster steering wheel, thanks to Sparco and Thrustmaster, and of course, WRC7. Right, let's head over to our commentators. Bex, who's been in there all day, and Rene, who's setting up this game. Thank you very much, Ben. Well, excitement levels are reaching fever pitch here, and it's very, very reminiscent of being at Hyundai last December, where we saw the big final, which we'll see tomorrow night, but this is the national final. So these guys are now logging into the game, Rene. They're getting ready to go. Final moments before we kick off here. Yeah, I talked to some of them right before that, and they were like, oh, now it changes. Now that it's live, everyone's seeing it. It's completely different because they were racing the whole day, but for themselves, basically. No one was watching. Now the whole world is watching. The whole world is watching. So this is the WRC Esports National Final here in Germany. What you can see on your screens right now, and what you can see is the game is just waiting. They're waiting for them all to log into the game. And as soon as they're all logged in, we're ready to go. And we're going to kick off with a really fantastic stage. We're heading to Spain for our first stage, Rene. It's not even holidays. <laughs> and it's not even holidays, but the temperature here is very similar. El Montmel, which a lot of you will know very well, 13.8 kilometers 
the gamers have to face. It's a split surface stage, gravel and tarmac. And here we go. We're almost ready to go. And the countdown begins. So, who are we with, Rene? Currently with Nikodem Wisniewski, he was one of the quickest, and he is a big sim racer until, you know, the whole virtual racing world. He was really good so far. It was a bit su surprised, basically, because rallying is not his main focus. But he's doing good so far. We saw the first crash there. A little there. bit of an off there. Now, who was that for? Because we're seeing the, our main racer who we're on board with, and also ghost mode, so you'll see the cars in colours. Everyone, everyone, everyone around is basically goes for them. They, the drivers don't see them. They did it all decided to not see them, so they are alone on the specs. But we see them, which is the great part uh, about all of this, because otherwise it would be kind of sad for us to not see the great cars and, and the fights and all that. And it was Alexander Dornida, one of the quickest in the qualifier, that retained his lay a bit too much on the previous part of the stage, and it's now last. Let's head up if we can, Rene, to some of our front runners there. Wait, look, that is Den Daniel or Dennis Schweitzer. I'm not, not really it's sure. Dennis, it's Dennis, Dennis Schweitzer, who we're with right now. Now, Dennis is the first official, or the first official time in esports for him. He's the Slalom Junior Champion in 2014 in real life, not in gaming. But he's doing good. Like, the, the switch over from real life is a bit harder than the other way around from virtual. Because he's used to having all the input from the car below him, like, you, you know everything you get from the seat and from the car around you, and you don't have that here, but he's really good, he's right behind Nikodem right now, that's the blue car we see up in front, and all the way up there is Gerber, you know, uh, his dad is a co-driver, we talked about that, uh, he raced with um, Kubica. Kubica. Yeah. So Patrick Gerber, who, who is talking about right now, his father, Jakob Gerber, sat alongside Robert Kubica, so he really does have rally heritage. Seems like it helps, right? I mean, he's currently leading, uh, by a by a big margin already in this young i20 is really doing good. He sounded, that is a long stage. He sounded pretty confident when Ben spoke to him. <laughs> so as I mentioned before, we have a mixture of gravel and tarmac. And just like being a normal rally driver in a normal real life car, these guys will have a preference on whether they prefer gravel or tarmac. What I found interesting when we commentated on the final last year, Rene, was some of the drivers were wearing racing boots, some were wearing normal shoes, some were barefoot. You know, it's all about the feeling when you're in those seats and on those pedals. It's all very personal. I definitely saw barefoot when I was walking in off the intro over here. So uh, barefoot so we're is with the, us again. Absolutely good. Glad to see that. So we're on to the tarmac section of stage now. It seems like Patrick Gerber really has a huge lead already. We see that here. We're, we're with Nikodem right now, and you can't even see him. Like, there we go. The yellow goes up from That is Patrick. Yeah, so the yellow ghost mode just up in front is our leader. That is Patrick Gerber. It will be very hard for Wisniewski to get back onto that. We see that already. It's like a huge lead. Let's see. With Schweitzer, if you can see, still see Wisniewski, no. So it seems like everyone now split a bit. But we have to say, it is uh, accumulated time. Oh, very, very close there from Schweitzer to the edge. So as you can see, just up in the top section of your screen, that's our leaderboard through the stage. Patrick Gerber is ahead. Then it's Wisniewski. Then Schweitzer. Then Dornierden. Four drivers on the stage right now, and that is the order they're running through. Now, this is the first stage. First stage of three stages that we have within the competition. And if you are just joining us for the first time, guys, we are eSports right now. This is not the real life. We are in gaming mode. It's the national final here in Germany, and we're getting on board to show you the very latest action from the gamers who... Oh, oh, oh. So I tell you what, a good bit of action here so far in eSports. What a great save there to say. Like, it was really quick on the steering wheel, and we know how much they need to work on this. This is like a workout, Look basically. Look over the other side of the valley. That is our leader, Patrick, who is just streets ahead of everyone else. What a confident drive through here. We're in Spain right now. We may be in Germany for the WRC event. We're in eSports territory. We're actually at El Montmel, which is a very famous stage in Spain. Split surface event. We've done the gravel section, and we're on to tarmac now. But it seems like Nikola Wisniewski is doing way better on tarmac than he did on gravel. We can see that he's finally closing the gap uh, to Gerber here. Oh, Gerber did a huge mistake in the happen. We saw that. Seems like 
naked and might be a bit quicker around it. Yeah. He's, he's, not, lo he's not locking up his tires like uh, Gerber did. So he's really winning on it. He, he might have a chance here, as long as th there's Tarmac's action on, to get back that time and lost on gravel. And that is, of course, the famous hairpin that we see. Nearly every happen in WC famous. Well, that one in Spain is particularly <laughs> famous. But we're still looking at I mean, that's that's the biggest issue now. Like, if you did a mistake, you need to get back into uh, your rhythm, making sure that you're confident again. He's looking good, but we see it in his face. Like, that's pure focus. Rene, just tell us a little bit about the cars that the guys have chosen. We see that, obviously, they're in high and nice. It seems like they're fairly quick, I would say, right? Everyone went with the Hyundai i20. They had the chance throughout the whole event, um, also um, in, the, in the final tomorrow. They could choose whatever they want. They could go with the Fiesta. But, like, the game features all the official WC cars. But the Hyundai is pretty popular among the drivers, so that's, that's good to see. Seems like the gap between Schweitzer and Dornieden might get a bit. Small. Let's have a quick look at that. That is Schweitzer right now. Oh, he's going to knock back a bit. We for Rally then still fine, right? Yeah, absolutely, it's still fine. That's doable. So what Rene is doing here in the studio is actually jumping from car to car. So we're with Dennis Schweitzer right now. Yeah, the karting uh, slalom guy. Let's let's go like that. Because they're all from a different background, and that was really close with his rear rotating for the right hander nearly clipping uh, the cliff there. Don't fall off, because even if it does not hurt or cost a lot of money like it does in real WC, it will cost a lot of time. It certainly will. And these guys are feeling a lot of pressure. We've already interviewed them. Now we switch back. I have to say, Alexander Neen was one of my favorites going into the stage, but it seems like the first stage, like here in Spain, doesn't really suit his driving style. We can see it for, for Tarmac, he's breaking a lot in the corners, he's not really trying to, to just let the car flow around it and, and using a weight distribution to, to get the rotation done. He's breaking a lot, he's using the handbrake quite often, so that is important to, to notice, but it seems like everyone else does a bit quicker than him. Let's switch up to our leader. Oh, come on, Alex with a bit of an off here. You Gets himself it. sorted. I did jinx it. Well, luckily we didn't move before that moment. But he's very ragged. You know, I'm interested to see Patrick's style because of what you've got to be here is precise. And Alex is having an absolute meh on this stage. Let's see. So we're with Patrick Gerber right now. So that's this our is our leader. leader. Yeah. Our leader on El Mel so far. Setting some great times. And I can imagine it's more of a precise drive that we're seeing from Alex than we're seeing from the previous gamers. I guess it's the same as the real WC, you need to decide, do you want to attack on the first stage, or go for a safe approach, making sure that you're still on the leaderboard without crashing the car, like Alex Dunneen now did. Patrick is running a good balance here. He's quick, but he's also staying away from mistakes, but we saw that he clipped that uh, rail guard closely multiple times now, so he's also very precise right now. Yeah, heavy on the braking. It's still, you know, in some sectors, it is a little bit ragged. Patrick is now nearing the finish of the stage. So we're not too far away from close. Seem to have a little bit of a freeze on our visual right now. Hopefully that will come back to us as we switch to see the actual gamers in motion. It all looks so calm, doesn't it? All looks so cool. They've got their headsets on. All they can hear are the sound effects of the game right now. If you are just joining us then here on All Live, this is the eSports national final that you're watching. Our drivers have the opportunity to compete over three stages. And they have competed on El Mel to kick off. So we've headed to Rally Spain. Next, we head to Germany and to finish off on the final run, we head to Finland. Tomorrow, we will have the Esports World Championship. Let's head back then down to Ben Constanduras. Thank you very much, Bex. Just having a look at the times and results from that first uh, uh, session. Riznevsky taking the victory by 15 seconds in the end. There was lots of penalties uh, on each of the drivers. So although we saw uh, Patrick Gerber 
winning the stage. He had a big penalty to soak up. Uh, he soaked that up, so he's 15 seconds back. It was quite close between him and Dennis Schweitzer, but it was this man, Nikodem Wisniewski, who is fastest. So let's go and have a quick word with him, uh, see how that felt. Obviously, sitting in the number one seat, Nikodem, which means you were fastest in practice. Did that go the way you were hoping? Yeah, yeah, it, it was uh, it was really nice. Um, I was chasing the Patrick because I thought that uh, that he's gonna win the stage. So when I saw that I'm losing like two seconds, I'm gonna push like like crazy. But yeah, luckily I'm I'm now first. But uh, two more stages to go, so I need to keep focused for the. I mean, you're quite lucky. You can see the the guy up beside you and see what kind of times he's doing. How often were you glancing to your left hand side? Not something you get to do normally when you're racing at home. No, no, it's uh, on the screen. Like I have on the left hand side of the screen. So so I just, I just saw, I just see the difference. Yeah, it's worth pointing out that they can't see the ghosts that we can see. They only have their own. Okay, so um, that was Spain. Uh, we've got two more stages coming up. Uh, what's kind of your preferred uh, surface? We had a bit of gravel and a bit of tarmac on that one. Yeah, I prefer snow, but <laughs> there's no snowy stages. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter if 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 it stage is like not too fast. It fits me because I'm just scared of the big, you know, <laughs> the big speeds. No, just kidding. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter if uh, I'm just trying to to, to keep it cool and uh, keep it safe and and sound. All right, so uh, they need to get the, the games activated uh, just to see again a little bit of gaming uh, technical going on here. They actually have to log into the game um, and uh, a little bit of a, a technical issue, I think, on pod one. So the, our expert will sort that out in just a few seconds and we'll get uh, going. WRC 7 has won multiple awards throughout the year. It's a big step up from WEC, uh, WRC 6 and it is uh, obviously available to buy if you want to buy it. Uh, next year, there'll be WRC 8 in sometime uh, at the end of next year based on uh, next season. Uh, but this obviously is based on last season, but still has those awesome 2017 cars. Really, really different to drive from the, the previous game, which was WRC 6. Obviously much, much faster, loads more downforce, a very different challenge for all of these guys who have not got massive experience on this game. Tomorrow when we have the world final coming up at around 7.15 local time, we'll see the very best in the world sitting in these four seats, fighting it out for victory. So it looks like everyone's logged in. Let's get over to Bex and Rene. Thank you very much, Ben. Well, we're ready now then for our next game to get underway. And we're transported to exactly where we are right now in the world, Adak Rally Deutschland. And we're heading to a stage we've seen already today, Mittelmosel. The drivers are going to be tackling the tough vineyard tests. Tight, very, very complex. So as soon as they're all logged in, we can get underway, Rene. I think we're still just waiting for a couple more people to get underway. While we wait, just quickly explain, obviously some of the drivers picked up some penalties in the previous one. What kind of penalties would they be? It's either a false start if they were a bit too quick or they actually caught the course at one point. So, um, you know, especially in the hairpins, you might tend to cut it a bit too much. You can, it's a rally game, so yeah, you can cut it as they do in real life, but obviously you're not allowed to just try to, okay. to, to skip some corners. No, nope, fair enough. Now, I think we're still waiting for maybe one more gamer to come in. We talked about styles here. Shoes off there, so uh, that is certainly one style to be had. He will, he will be happy that he actually uh, went for new socks there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, we don't want to see dirty socks here. And others have, wear racing boots as well. You know, we saw this in the grand final last year. I'm sure we'll see it tomorrow, but it's all personal preference. What makes you feel the most comfortable? What you're getting the most response from? Right, I think we have... Yeah, we have our final guy who has logged on then, and we are ready to go with our game. Mittel Mosel. Get yourself ready, guys. I was practicing that track this morning, and it has so many changes in, in rhythm and all that. That will be very interesting for, for the stage here, yeah. So, same format as we saw before. You will see the ghost mode of all the drivers, and we will click on various drivers to see how they're doing in the stage. 
It will be interesting to see if Patrick Gabba now goes for a different approach. He was the quickest on the last stage, but due to the penalties, he dropped behind Nikodem Wisniewski. So maybe he's trying to stay a bit more on the safe side. We can see him going over the grass already. There's some light there here. Unfortunate for him, makes him a bit slower. We see Nikodem going quite. But you see, like Nikodem is always trying to stay safe. He's not rotating the car. He's not sliding it a lot or drifting it a lot. No, he's. He's keeping very, very precise lines. He's not picking up those penalties because he's doing everything as he absolutely should. Not necessarily the quickest, but then he shouldn't have those penalties come the end of the game. The whole field still close together. I mean, Patrick Gerber is the quickest one. He could have just a good job. Schweitzer, Schweitzer right? just dropping back there. Yeah, we're wondering where, Nick, uh, where Alexander Dunleek is right now. Probably at the same, basically at the same point. That's what we don't see his goes right now. There he is, the yellow goes right in front of uh, Schweitzer now. So Schweitzer dropped to the last position. He can't see it, we can see it. That's a good point. But it's incredible to see how evenly matched they are, certainly in sections of stage. Dunleek, though, just taking off now. Schweitzer is starting to drop back. Can he pick up pace here? We see far, far in the back, we see that Petr Gerber's once again really spreading the lead. That guy is just so quick. It seems like Tarmac might not be quicker than Nikodim on the previous Spain stage, but here in Germany, he's really using the boost. Yeah, Patrick has been impressive so far. Well, it looks like Schweitzer might be a bit quicker here on the hair, but still even with a small mistake, nearly touching the tree there on the right. Oh, good. No, oh, there he goes off track. That's it. So, Dawn Eden with a bit of an off there. So, Schweitzer moves ahead. Next target is Nikodem in front. Oh, no, it's and it, it yeah. is Nikodem, but Nikodem is far away. This is Nikodem Wisniewski, and that green one is Patrick Gerber. So, not the leader currently, because we, we know we go for accumulate time, just like the wheel WC does. So, we know Nikodem is currently the leader, the car we're on here. But if Patrick's doing a good job and being super quick on the stage, there wasn't much between them. No, it'll be incredibly tight. So, as Rene mentioned, it's cumulative times here over three stages. We're on the tarmac of Germany now on Mittelmosel. You'll remember this from earlier on, everyone, if you've been with All Live all day. And we head to the gravel of Finland next. Who actually did Finland? Out. Oh, you know everything about stages, that's why I have you, you know? <laughs> There's so many stages. Yeah, how, how, do you, how can you remove all of these stages? Do you also know middle at every single corner? Absolutely. No. So pa Patrick Gerber's still then in the lead here, and if you are just joining us and wondering, why am I watching gaming? This is the eSports National Final, broadcast on all live for you. Look at that, right between the wine yards. He's actually hitting them. He's also probably damaged uh, his intercooler bag or cooling system. And we see Nikodem being quicker than him now. Gerber really coming back fast already. So he's, he's quick in getting his, his rhythm back. But that was a huge on there. So, Rene, just explain to people who are watching, may not be familiar with the game. That kind of off in real life means you go no further. These guys continue, though, but we'll pick up penalties for that. They'll not. Probably for that, they won't pick up a penalty, but he will pick up damage. damage. We've got damage fully on, so... You, and, that you one, actually... that, and that's reflected in a time? I mean, they will become slower, especially if you go like for an intercooler or water cooler and destroy so that, the will car will become slower. Yeah, definitely. But he's back on, on the lead, so it seems like he can easily find his rhythm again. Or Nikodem is just not attacking enough. I have to say, Patrick sounded the most confident out of all the drivers that Ben spoke to a little bit earlier. Yeah, but just being shy doesn't mean you're slow, right? What, now, what have they been doing throughout the day then? Have they been practicing, getting used to the, the system? Yeah, they did. They did a lot of practice. Obviously, they had the same practice time for all of them, so they couldn't just stay here at the moon the whole day and, and practice. They had specific times for that. But they had a lot of practice, uh, but also a lot of stages. That might be the downside. Yeah. Well, certainly Patrick has impressed on the previous stage and on this one so far. Let's go back to Dennis Schweitzer. I think something might have happened there. Yeah, he just got reset. So you might crash the car or, or uh, left the track too much. And then he got reset. You see that additional time, nine seconds on the screen. Yeah. So his, his finishing time is not the real one, which means that Alexander do need it. And it is right now. We'll probably be in front of Schweitzer. 
let's go back to the big fight here up front because Wisniewski is still looking on together, trying to make it happen, but he knows already he, got, he has that small lead from stage one. If he, if he just plays it safe and keeps the car alive, that might be enough for Gamma once again with a mistake. Hugging that tree on the right. So we it is Nicodem now who is into the lead here. Four drivers competing against each other here at the Esports National Final. Um, we, we've seen quite a few offs. We've seen more offs on this game so far than we've seen in the actual rally so far. But the difference is they practiced the previous three stages and then they had 20 minutes to practice these. So yeah, they're not that familiar. Barrier. No, that's fair enough. Yeah, but he's still going. Look at this guy. Like, even if he does a mistake, he's so quick in getting back to his pace, getting back onto Nikodim. Nikodim is without a mistake, but still with the two mistakes of, of Gerber, they're just at the same point. And Nikodem and Gerber are just swapping places. Look at positions one and two as they just switch back and forth. It seems like Gerber is a bit more risky when he goes for different corners and trying to cut here and there. And tries really short this time. But it pays off for most of it. It's probably the, the Kubica way of doing things, right? Being as quick as possible, no matter the risk. Tell you what, Rene, they've got some good weather here, haven't they? Well, that's something we have in real life, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love good weather. It's totally fine with it. Really tight right hander here, but good work by Gerber. Seems like Zinuski actually lost a bit of time there. And behind that, Schweitzer and Dunedin. Dunedin still last, but we know Schweitzer has that nine second penalty. Now the key in the vineyard stages here in Germany is to be as clean as possible as an overshoot is what we see. Love seeing the brake lights there. And you saw his, his brake lights were glowing, glowing. And, and all the spectators, they were frightened a bit already. We were just lucky that they're virtual. Nothing can happen to them. They always say no one, no one will be injured on eSports that you're seeing. Definitely not. You can see the close proximity of the wall, very narrow stages through the vineyard tests. So we are watching the eSports Gaming National Final here. We'll be coming back to the real action in WRC shortly. Our next stage will be getting underway in a while, but right now we are concentrating on the middle Mosul stage and our four drivers who are coming through and a bit of a pause here just as they finish. But stage completed then for our drivers. One more to go here. They've already completed two. One in Spain, Middle Mosul in Germany. They've got Paiola in Finland to come. Let's head back then to Ben. So there we go then, very, very close on the tarmac of Germany. Really great to see the two of these guys fighting it out. 15 seconds separate them overall, remember, after that first stage. It's all to do uh, for this man, Patrick. That was a really nice drive though, Patrick. It, it, looked, uh, it looked very, very smooth and a big fight. It could be better because I made one mistake. We were mistaken in the middle of the, of the stage, but now we go to the Finland where it's super quick stage and every every mistake cost you a lot so this is even if uh, there's 14 seconds between us that that can be one tenth by the end and do you prefer gravel or tarmac uh, difficult to say you know but uh, the finland is very special because not even if even this is gravel you go flat out all the time so i think i prefer a bit tarmac but we'll see what happens i imagine you play this quite a lot don't you uh, maybe not that a lot like guys tomorrow will play, will play but I think uh, I enjoy railing because to impress that maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I played for my one month, I think. Right, looks like the game's ready, so I'll heading back over then to Bex and to Rene. Thank you very much, Ben. Wow, the final run now then, and it is at one of the most legendary rallies that we have in the WRC. It is Neste Rally Finland, and we head to Pajala. Let's get going, guys. Good luck, everyone. Countdown begins. And here we go then, the final run for our eSports National Championship. 
once again. It is good. He's already to, to impress that. Racing to impress that. Oh, oh Alexander the leader with a quick and very early crash here. Simply out of sync, it seems, on this bit wider stage, faster stage than we saw before. But it's still not wide enough for Alexander. So, Finland, wide stages, jumps, pure speed. It's all about bravery. It's all about confidence at this event. Oh, another spin, Nick at him, totally throwing away that car, nearly setting it on fire down that hill there. Another nine seconds we saw, he wouldn't reset it now because he, he fell down that cliff, got reset, that's another nine seconds on him. And he currently is probably the leader still, depends on uh, the accumulated time, so he'll figure out later. But that crash will be played oh. by Alexander Dunit, and also spinning out once again. Seems like Finland is definitely not his country at all. And the only one that is without a mistake so far is our leader, Kurt Gerber. He's still lead, nothing happened to him. He's doing good. Do you know what? It is just so incredible to see so many mistakes so far, but this is a really tough event. Talk to us briefly, Rene, about the car setups that these guys have, the setups they've created before, obviously, the games have started. They all run the same this time. They all have definitely set up, so there's no, no one with background in engineering that can actually help them out or anything. So the, since they all race the Yuna, play, even playing field for everyone, the same car, and even Gerber now in a quiet problem here. Patrick, what are you doing? Easy, Tiger! Come on! That could have been a huge spin, he saved that, look at his face, he was like, uh, slightly disappointed with myself. It is full concentration though, just watching <laughs> he said it's incredible stuff. So Patrick again is our stage leader here, amazingly with that little ragged section that we saw. Let's go back to Schweitzer. He finds himself in second place, and if he would know, he would probably be surprised because he wasn't that quick on the previous two stages but right now with Nikodem having that big crash early on and the nine seconds he's far behind uh, at least in terms of timing right now on the stage you see it with new skin oh. Schweitzer on the side but once again Schweitzer trying to overtake the car it seems like going from tarmac to gravel now where the car gets more light in the corners and, and rotates more it, it, it's really hard for the drivers yeah absolutely it's a completely different style of driving to adapt to and they've just gone from one stage immediately to another. So Alexander Dolita, if he's running on the stage, he's really fast. He's, he's not slow in general. It's just he's prone to do mistakes right now. So especially like trying to set up the car right before the corner, you know that it's really you either flick it or you try to retain it a bit more but then use it as, as a break in. And it seems like that's too hard for him uh, here at the gravel stage because he's always over rotating. He's not trying to be really safe, no drifting at all. Um, it's still Patrick who is way out front right now. Well, I'd say way out front. Kind of a close gaggle, but... Big Ooh. jump here, look at that. Well, that's what you expect in Rally Finland. Plenty of jumps, plenty of beautiful wide roads. We can use absolutely every sector, get beautiful lines. We're seeing some beautiful lines here. Other lines are, yeah, causing incredible moments like this, up on two wheels or off into trees. It's havoc right now. I'm, I'm not sure if they had too much Red Bull, maybe. They're so hyped up. <laughs> but it, we, we talked about it. It's a different pressure now. They have cameras around it. Every time we see that shot, there's a camera ba cameraman basically right in their face. It doesn't happen to the real ready drivers. Well, they have the onboard cameras there, but not people. <laughs> but yeah, there is a, a certain amount of pressure on them right now. They're all lined up, as you've seen from our interviews, all sat next to each other, all gaming together. There are cameramen. There's kinds of pressures on their shoulders. They want to do the absolute best they possibly can here. There's been hours of practice at home in the build-up to all of this. And they're doing a good job so far for just 20-minute practice uh, without knowing the stage before. They're really putting a good performance on that stage. But it's just, oh, that's Gerber totally missing the corner from his uh, He has a roll. Car looks a bit battered. I mean, that is... We talked about the last year's UK's mint condition never been abused. <laughs> never been raced or rallied, but no, this definitely no. has now. It was just a showroom car. But, you know... It's still in the lead. It's still in, exactly, it's still in the lead right now, so... Okay, this is Nicodem. 
I think it's the camera. They're getting nervous as soon as they put camera on them. Because I just wanted to say that Nikodim is close to a second to Gerber right now. And then as soon as we switch on to him, he's doing a mistake. It is a heart rally. It is hard to switch over from Tarmac uh, to Gravel. This is completely different Gravel than on the previous rallies we saw. It's a bit more loose in Finland. So it seems like it has a huge impact on the drivers right now. Probably the most challenging gravel event we have, and you can see how fast it is, how wide and beautiful these stages are. They beg you to push hard, which is what these drivers are doing right now. But you've got to be able to handle the pace that these stages offer. Also, if, if people sitting at home and thinking like, oh, it's, it's playing a game on the, on the steering wheel, I can tell you after that stage how long it is. You will be sweating, you need a shower afterwards. So I don't want to do the interviews, I'm so happy that Ben does these interviews. Because they're probably oh, on smell and go, but he's on the side, rotating the car again. Drop in behind Wisniewski, and if that crash is too big, there might be the chance for Nikita and Wisniewski to qualify for tomorrow, even if Gerber won all the previous stages. My word. Drama here then at the eSports National Final. This is the final stage for the drivers. It's Pajala in Finland. 17 and a half competitive kilometers. And my goodness, Patrick Gerber, who has really delighted us so far, has had, well, two big incidences in this stage. Drops to second. It's Nikodem now who leads the stage. It's also be a very close fight here between Dawn Eden and Schweitzer, but that's further back on that stage, basically. Schweitzer, it was really doing good, like in a jump, you need to decide, do I go flat over the jump, do I need to break afterwards? So obviously they're missing a bit of that knowledge due to yeah. the missing training and, and practice time, but they're still doing good. I'm, I'm just really surprised that it's actually Gerber here that takes all the risk because he had that in his hands. That's, oh, once again, Dornidin going off stage here. Twice, it's like <laughs> a pinball. Wild. That is a pinball across the stage right there. It was just like Patrick could have probably turned on the ghost so he sees Wisniewski, then he would have known that there's no reason to push. Is that, do the real rally drivers get information no, throughout the stage? Nothing, absolutely nothing at all. They know nothing about each other. We used to, they used to have split times into the cars, but that was ruled out many, many years ago. So they only know, oh, <laughs> when they've completed the stage. And that is definitely, I think, the best thing. It's the most exciting thing in WRC, but obviously in the game, you can switch on that ghost mode so you can see where your competitors are. Patrick is really fighting hard. I'm, I'm wondering, like, is that enough if he just stays close to Wisniewski? But once again, going hard through the Rebel side, finished it, and Wisniewski did a mistake there. What did he do? He went over the jump and rotated and, and spun. Oh, he spun the car around. Seems like on the landing, he was not able to keep the car straight here. That's the big Rebel jump. And we and see he's uh, being passed by everybody now, and he drops down to last. Yeah, going from the lead into last. He might even damage the car there with a jump, because obviously those jumps, they are hard on the cars. We all know that. It's a game like it is in real life. So Patrick Gerber, unbelievably, is back into the lead. Two huge moments for him, including a role in this stage, but he's back into the lead. Just imagine, imagine Schweitzer winning in the, in the end. <laughs> because Gerber and, and Wisniewski is going down. Let's go back then and look at the faces of these very focused rally drivers, e-rally drivers. It's the eSport National Final that we're with right now. And it's three we have remaining. And we can commentate off their screen. Absolutely we can. Good. They are coming into this closing sector of stage. That's the longest out of the three we've seen so far. It's 17 and a half competitive kilometers. It's still Gerber who's leading right now. Yes, yeah, Schweitzer second. Don't we've completely third. lost Nikodem. Let's see. So definitely Gerber finished first, and he knows that. He saw the screen, but obviously he doesn't know all the times yet. A little bit of a smile, a little bit of a wry smile from Nick, uh, from Patrick. And he can get out of his seat now. That's his three stages completed. He doesn't think, look that super happy. I think he's pretty happy. <laughs> He's pretty happy with that. Disappointment, though, for Nikodem. And wondering, they were just pushing too much. They just went, oh, Finland is a very fast rally. <laughs> Let's go for it. Well, they only had, as you said, 20 minutes of training time, effectively, on that stage. And if, you know, maybe they they would have encountered it before when they're gaming, but maybe not so much. 20 minutes isn't too much to train. Let's head back then to Ben. Lots of drama. Ben, tell us all about it. Oh, what drama, can you believe it? Over that massive Red Bull drum, that famous jump in Finland, 
engine failure for Nicodem. Failure, DNF, that's plus 30 seconds on his time. And that leaves Patrick Gerber as the winner. And, Patrick, that means you're going through to the world final tomorrow. Good feeling, but uh, I have to work tomorrow to make less mistakes. Nicodem uh, had some bad luck because uh, in this game, when you jump bad, bad that's how it ends. Uh, and tomorrow I have to be more peaceful and uh, shame for Nicodem because I think we both deserve to be tomorrow. We, hold, we both had the pace and he made till this jump make less mistakes, but <laughs> it is how it is and uh, hoping for tomorrow. Well, I look forward to seeing you. you need to bribe the guys uh, and get some more seat time before tomorrow because there's uh, plenty of simulators here in the paddock for some of the guys to come and enjoy and sample WRC7 in this play seat and um, Thrustmaster. Disappointment for Nicodem. Where is he? He's hiding over there. Let's see if we can go and grab him quickly. Um, let's just... Uh, Nicodem, come over here for me. You were the fastest out there, but uh, can you believe your engine failed? Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect that uh, the failure after after big, big jump. So, yeah, shame for that. But congrats to Patrick. He, he has a really good pace. I thought I um, just want to get it home because I had like 20 seconds advantage. But yeah, maybe next time. And pretty cool as well to be able to sample what it's like to be in the WRC paddock. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice because I have never been in WRC. Uh, I only have been in some Polish rallies or the European rally championship, but never never in the uh, WRC, so it's my first time. It's really nice. Yeah, what is your opinion of these huge hospitality and garage service centers? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice. I'm impressed by the Hyundai uh, home, so it's, it's really big and, and should be comfortable inside. <laughs> Uh, so we're just waiting for the official results. Let's see if we can find uh, the other guys. Where's uh, Alexander? Come over here, Alexander. Um, as you said, you bought the game on Wednesday for some extra practice, having qualified on event. Uh, but that didn't really go the way you planned, right? Not really. A bit disappointed, you know. But, but still, I didn't know those stages at all. And in the first round, I had French co-driver for some reason. and so, <laughs> so I didn't even know where to go. Yeah, but so I think... I pr did pretty good. I mean, I did too many mistakes, of course, but I think my pace in general, like in the qualification rounds, was not too bad. So yeah, I think I will give it a bit more a go for the next time. So maybe I can pe compete for the world final next time. Yeah. And what it's like to be a, a professional gamer. You now are with Veloce Esports, half winning the World Touring Car Championship Esports. You have to adapt to all these different platforms now, right? Yeah, I think you have to do it. Like, if you are a good runner, you know, you can, yeah. I think it's good to learn. Like, if you're a normal circuit racer, I think you can a lot learn a lot from rally, because there's not really much room for mistakes, as I saw this time. Yeah, but yeah. Now we're going to have a quick word with Dennis. Uh, I know that Dennis doesn't speak very great English, but uh, as his first online esports competition, okay? Yes, thank you. Uh, oh, I am so surprised about this. I have given my, my best and I have I've pushed. Uh, at the beginning, I, I had uh, a few mistakes, but I, I have seen if I push, then I come closer to the other. And yes, uh, I don't have any words. Uh, I'm I'm happy. I'm very happy about. And also, your English is very good, so never don't lie to me again. Let's get to the results then. The confirmation of the results uh, with Patrick Gerber, who wins ahead of Dennis Schweitz in second position, Dennis. Alexander Dornadayan in third position, and sadly, Nikodem Wisniewski uh, in fourth position. Uh, so, it is time to say goodbye from the Red Bull Hospitality right beside our studio. That's the trophy for tomorrow, and it's back to Abby in the studio. Thanks for winning us.